Well, who picked the fruit and vegetables that you are eating today? Chances are that it was some of the more than one million farm workers here in the United States. But that's changing with new technology and agriculture, and that includes robots and AI. Later this summer, the Biden administration is expected to explore financial help for people displaced by AI in all kinds of jobs. For now, though, it's the robotic Wild West, and that's where we find CBS's news national correspondent, Dave Malkoff. This is the World Agriculture Expo. It's got to be somewhere in the Midwest, right? No, this is in California. We live in the future. There's drones and there's ground drones and we've got flamethrowers and sprayers and spreaders. This is like Captain Picard's vineyard. <laughs> exactly. Star Trek imagined this is what farming would look like at the dawn of the 25th century, but the future has come a lot faster than predicted. Every farmer is gonna be a coder someday. Really? Yeah. This is carbon robotics laser weeder. We kill weeds with lasers. Well, how did this happen before you have a laser weeder? You had to have people out in the fields with hand tools. You had to spray a bunch of chemicals all over your crops. Now artificial intelligence decides what's a weed and zaps it away. But it replaces about 75 people. It replaces 75 people. There's a heavy lifting robot called the Burro Grande. And it's following me. Come on. Yeah. Here we go, Burrow. If you need to move it from place to place. Does this cut down on the amount of people that you need in a field? Uh, it, it definitely can. If you want to see a robot arm harvesting strawberries, we have one over here. Frazier is his name, and he uses a silicon brain and inflated silicone hands to mimic the way humans pick berries right now. Those grippers are designed to not damage the strawberry. We'll get back to Frazier in a second, but how is all of this? changing life down on the farm. I'm original from Mexicali. Adrian Miramontes worked his way from Mexico to the U.S. Marine Corps to manager of a large farm. I think we can use machinery and still take care of our people. They're willing to learn and they're willing to do better for themselves and their families. A twist. Oh, okay. Eso es una máquina robot de sí. las fresas. La fresa, sí. Asuncion Ponce has been working the fields of California's Central Valley for 36 years. He's just become a U.S. citizen, and this is his first time seeing a strawberry picking robot. You're right. The technology has advanced, but it's going so fast, it's going to ruin the strawberries. Reemplazada. I feel replaced by something like that. I'm going to have a hardship to help my family. 20 years ago, Lulu Cardenas came from Mexico to pick fruit here, supporting her family. Industry experts say she may eventually end up programming or running the robots. Do you think that's something you could do? Of course I could do it. I would just need to get proper training. I don't know what's the new technology nowadays. The farmers benefit from it, but it's taking a lot of work from us. It is, even for somebody like me who has a work permit. Obviously, there's a part of the story we haven't talked about yet. The National Immigration Forum says 48% of farm workers in this country are undocumented. If their jobs change in a drastic way, those folks may be unlikely to apply for the kind of AI-associated government assistance that the Labor Department could have in the near future. Just like I did, I mean, most of us were looking for the American dream. So I think that's something that is gonna keep, keep happening, no matter what. This is all so new. This one flies around scanning bad apples, picking the good ones. It's almost human, just not quite. And there is something to that. I see. You cannot replace a human heat with a cold machine. A lo frío de una máquina. Una máquina frío. Frío. Dave Malkoff, CBS News, Tulare, California.